Hello. Um, this is to show you how to set up your straight talk SIM on your iPhone using the T-Mobile um, SIM card swap. Uh, as you can see, you know, there's no SIM card in there. And I am using uh, version uh, iOS 6. You can see it right down there. All right. First thing I like to do is go back to my home screen. I like to open up Notepad. I mean, um, notes rather. I like to open up note, um, notes in the background. You'll see why in a few. And now I'm going to go into settings. Oops, I go into um, cellular. Oh, well, actually, cellular is grayed out because I don't have a SIM in there. Now I'm going to insert the T Mobile SIM in. In a few seconds, uh, you should see the seller tab comes on. Now I got it on. And now you see right here, this wasn't here before, which is the seller um, data network. You click here. Now you got this stuff in. Now this is T-Mobile information, which really won't do any good with Straight Talk. So now what I'm going to do is double tap on the home so I can go into um, the applications that are in the background. Then I hit notes. Now with that up and running, what I do is I'm gonna pull out the um, T-Mobile SIM. This is a very important step right here. If you don't, if you do not do it without, if you don't do it while it's in the background, it will just push you back when you put the new SIM in or when you pull the SIM out. So it, 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 won't, it will just lock you out of that screen. Uh, give me a second to pull out this, this um, card. All right, got it up. I'm putting the straight torque one in. Now it's going to take a couple of seconds. Now, the trick is to let it sit here until right on the top you get home. So do not do not go back. Just wait. Just be a little patient. Not when it that's not when it says AT and T because it's going to automatically add, put AT and T information in the, um, the APN settings, which won't do you any good. So you just wait. Take about a minute or two. For home to pop up. All right, it's working on it. It takes a couple of seconds. It's, it's you know, she's really trying to get to AT and T. <laughs> All right, here we go. Home is up there. So now, what you do is you double click on it to get back. You could double click on your home button to get back to your applications in the background. Then go into settings. And see, now you saw the APN settings just change and put all the AT&T stuff in there. So now at this point, you put your straight talk information in. Yeah, if you go back too soon, it's just going to push you out and push you right back to the next tab and then it, it, nothing will work. Yeah, unfortunately, uh, I believe this method only works with iPhone uh, 4S. I don't believe the 4 give you an option for APN um, settings, unless unless it maybe if it's, if it's an unlocked iPhone. Like this one is unlocked iPhone 4, so yeah, all the information. Yeah, this information that I'm putting in here, this will be in the description. However, um, this, this information is available in Google all over the place. So it's not anything special that I'm putting in. I'm putting in, in the standard information.
That's it. As you know, now you don't get the tethering section right here. So um, that you know, so you can't you isn't you can't tether it without jailbreaking. However, if you use the T-Mobile SIM, you have the tethering, and you can actually you know you can tether it. You can just put the T-Mobile information in there. And you can tether it. Just that uh, unfortunately, T-Mobile hasn't finished rolling out their new um, frequencies. So they're still using the seventeen. They still using seventeen hundred by twenty one hundred. So you can um, you can't use that right now. So so unfortunately, when that come out, then maybe uh, I might give T-Mobile a shot. So now once you put that information in, now you can hit back. So now that information should save. Right, everything set. Good to go. Okay, this was done in iOS 6. All right, let me do a quick speed test. Make sure that my internet is working properly. Yeah, it's not too bad. All right, oh, there you go. All right, so that's all set. Now I'm going to uh, take a picture. anything actually take a picture of this alright I like iOS 6 this is more convenient right here you can pick where you want to go alright I'm going to go right there alright It's in. And then we can just quickly go over there to see if it made it. It's working on it. As you, as you can see on the top. Working on it. There you go. Works like a charm. Have a good day.